for the last five to 10 years, you have equated SEO, search engine optimization, you've equated that to basically ranking in Google, right? It still means that, but here's, here's the problem with only thinking that. Business on the bike with Brooks, yeah. The best thoughts and ideas come while you're in the shower or while you're on a bike ride. So while I'm on a bike ride in this series, I'm gonna share my ideas with you. I think that it's absolutely time that we rethink search and what SEO even means. If you're like me, then for the last five to 10 years, you have equated SEO, search engine optimization, you've equated that to basically ranking in Google, right? It still means that, but here's, here's the problem with only thinking that. YouTube has grown significantly to become the second largest search engine in the world. People are now searching on TikTok more than ever. Searching, like directly looking for what they want. Pinterest is a search engine. Meta wants you to ask it anything. It's, it wants you to be the universal search. We had the invention, basically, the, the public LLM of ChatGPT and other models where you can go and search things or and not get returned information, but have conversation. You have perplexity.ai. That is a search engine, a direct competitor. It's an actual search engine. So all of this, all of this has happened in the last few years, which has really led me to think like search engine optimization just means optimizing for search. Like we need to stop, we need to stop. We need to stop thinking of it as optimizing for Google, like how to get found in Google. Although we need to do that because Google is still the current lion's share of search. But the Department of Justice in the United States has said that their search is a monopoly. Like they're going to have to do something. They're gonna to have to either break up their search business apart from ads or, or, or they're gonna pull apart. Yeah, like we're not sure at the time of me throwing this out, there's, I, I, I don't believe there's any like suggestion has even been made by Google, but Google's gonna make their own suggestion recommendation to the DOJ, the Department of Justice. So we're gonna see what comes from that, but that's good. That's a good thing for, for everyone. It's good for everyone. It's good for companies that are trying to disrupt search and how that, you know, trying to break into search. I mean, I don't know, think of a company like DuckDuckGo or, you know, like a small search, uh, you know, a company that just gets a fraction. Think of, you know, Bing that's growing market share. Okay, well, as Bing grows, it means, okay, maybe you have to pay more attention to what are they looking for? Like, what are their signals? Like, what do you need to do to rank for them? Maybe I can, you know, maybe you can get a ton of traffic from, from there. Think of now Reddit, Quora. These are places where people are going directly to get information that both show up in a search engine, like Google, and people just go to them directly, directly into their interface in order to get information. So how can we be an intermediary? Like how can we get people to our, our platforms? How can we get people to our content when people are trying to search information? Like that's the question. I just, I wanna optimize for the web. I wanna be a web optimizer. Like forget, you know, search engine. I just wanna optimize for the web in general, which means like for me, what it means is trying to figure out how to produce more content easier, faster, reduce friction in, in content. I've, I've still, it's been years and I have not been able to really create a good process for having one piece of content, say this, like what I'm recording right now, and turning it into a written piece of content broken into smaller pieces of content for, for X or LinkedIn or whatever. I haven't done that yet. I haven't, I just haven't been able to, you know, crack that nut or figure it out. It's just like, the cost is too expensive or like whatever, but like that is, I'm getting closer and closer and closer. And as you know, a small, you know, a small entrepreneur, basically a micropreneur, it's like me and like, you know, a handful of teammates from around the world doing, doing different things. Like as I'm able to figure this out, you know, it just, it democratizes information, right? Um, now I still have to figure out how to like produce quality stuff. And like one of the things I'm doing is 
I'm trying to just showcase and show people things that I'm doing in projects and just I'm kind of just publicly publicly putting it out there right I'm like hey follow this so every week on my um, on my newsletter so if you go to like destroythatbox.com or you just google Brooks Conkle whatever but every week on my newsletter I'm like hey here's the here's the updates on my projects you know like hey here's my Amazon influencer stuff here's Facebook pages I'm growing hey I'm getting into domain investing here's some AI tools that I created blah 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 which it's kind of cool because it keeps me accountable but then it also helps me grow a community and then it helps me share with that community ideas and you know give them encouragement and ideas and like and what they're and what they're doing and I, like I want accountability I want people to show me ideas I want people to share with me you know what they're what they're doing which is why I'm actually you know I've always debated the start a community or like a paid community like I'm still thinking through that and how that would work if you have ideas let me know I do have destroytheboxuniversity.com but it's only has some some courses but to me courses are they're almost they're almost antiquated in the way that a standard course works. I also don't know if it's the best format for the way that people do that. Not to go on a side tangent there, but that's also like, that's a part of that optimization, optimizing for the web. Like, how are you gonna get people to that platform or to that piece of content? And currently, my avenue to get people to that platform would be through my newsletter or via my website, maybe from a YouTube video. But I think in today's time, and going forward, you know, we just, I think we have to ask ourselves like, okay, how can I look at my brand from all angles and how can I get this brand found? And definitely you don't wanna be on all platforms at once at the first time. If you try to do that, you'll, you'll, you'll blow up and you'll go crazy. Your head will spin and you will get frustrated and you will quit, that is for sure. I would definitely start on specific platforms or if you can do multiple and you can get some help or whatever okay cool but at the end at the end of it all like years down the line it would be amazing would be to have a system where you're able to be on multiple platforms at one time so start looking at your brand not just from one specific you know one specific oh how can i get found in this search engine and start looking at your brand from just different angles and just looking at all the different platforms that you could potentially be on. Just look at everything with a new light. And every few months, you know, every few months, stop and kind of don't work in your business, but like raise up above and kind of look down from like a bird's eye view, like you're on a mountaintop and look down and kind of look at your business as a whole and kind of say, okay, like, let me analyze this. Like, what am I using as a consumer? am I on those platforms? How can I be there? How can I get there? And then, you know, you can make some milestones, make some specific um, action plan to, to dive back in and work, work in your business and try, to, and try to get on those platforms. So that's kind of what I'm, that's what I'm thinking these days on this specific bike ride, actually, but that's what I'm thinking about SEO and what it means to be found in a search engine it just means wherever the heck people are trying to get that information. All right, see y'all out there.